I'm Scott Al Miller, and this is my everyday life living in Latin America. Today, we're doing a special show bringing you an episode from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Okay, we're not actually filming in Argentina today, but... We are there, at least we should be. So today is a travel update show. We're gonna fill you in on everything that's been going on, hopefully over the last two days. Today is the 28th, if everything is scheduled appropriately. I'm filming this ahead of time because we're gonna have absolutely no time to fill you guys in on everything that's going on as it happens. My wife and I are traveling from North America to South America and going on a couple weeks of adventure down in Buenos Aires. So in order to do that, yesterday, the 27th, we left early in the morning. Again, look for the shorts to see any updates that I'm able to provide in real time. This episode is being recorded ahead of time so that you guys will know exactly where we are, what's going on, what to expect if nothing goes wrong. So yesterday, the 27th, we got up super early in the morning, took our luggage to the bus station in Leon, where I'm actually filming this episode, and uh, got the Nika Espresso heading to Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, we should have arrived at night. It's a full day on the bus. You leave about six o'clock in the morning, spend several hours getting down to Pinas Blancas to cross the border into Costa Rica, and then many hours to go to the capital at San Jose. We should be getting off at the airport. This would have been last night uh, at SJO in the capital and staying at a hotel right there by the airport. I'm sure we'll be at the Hampton Inn. That's where I stay when I need to be next to the airport. It makes it really easy. You take the bus down and it's only $40 one way, $80 round trip. If you're coming from Nicaragua, you need the round trip so you can show your uh, ticket that you have a, a return ticket out of the country. So that's important to have, but just $80 for the round trip. And honestly, I find the bus really comfortable. My wife has not had the best experiences on the bus in the past, so we're going to see how this one goes. This is her second attempt, and we did we did a, a round trip last time. One direction was bad, one direction was good. This time, we're doing the, the round trip again. Fingers crossed that nothing goes wrong. As long as we have air conditioning, I think she'll be fine. In San Jose, we'll be getting in pretty late at night. We are definitely going out for Indian food because we both miss it and we can get really good Indian in San Jose. I have discovered really good uh, uh, Lebanese in San Jose, but it's not next to the airport, so we're not gonna be searching for that on this particular trip. We don't have a lot of time in Costa Rica. We do like going to Costa Rica. It's cool to hang out. This is just a logistics trip. But this trip really highlighted the value of Costa Rica being right next to Nicaragua. Now, of course, this is a reason that living in Costa Rica could be really excellent. The airport at, at San Jose has some of the best prices and connections for the region. And I mean really, really good. We were looking at flying from absolutely anywhere to try to get down to Buenos Aires. And when we were looking at places like the United States, tickets were typically above like $1,300 one way. And when we were looking from uh, SJO, from San Jose, prices were more like $250. Seriously, it's that cheap. Now, coming from Nicaragua, we got to do a bunch of effort to get down there. So it's either $40 one way on the bus, which I don't mind at all, but it does take a full day. Or you can fly out of Managua on Sansa, the Costa Rican little, little Cessnas, and you can get down to San Jose for $189 in a lot less time. But that's a lot more money, and it still takes a bit of time. You know, if I lived in Managua right by the airport, I'm sure I would do that. But since I have to travel two hours already to get to Managua, and then you got to wait to take the flight, and then the flight isn't zero time, uh, it ends up being not that much better anyway. So I think for us, taking the bus just makes sense because the bus comes right out of Leon. Technically, I could walk to it, but that'd be a really long walk. I'm not going to do that, but I could. Uh, but it's, you know, it's just so convenient. Picks you up in Leon, takes you right to the airport. Of course, the flight goes right to the airport as well, but it's actually easier on the bus because you're in front of the airport instead of in the airport and having to go through everything. It's just by the end of the day, the bus isn't that much harder, but it's $149 cheaper one way. That adds up. So that's what we're doing. Then today, we had to get up early in the morning. We have an early flight at about 8 o'clock-ish out of San Jose, and that is going to take us to Panama. So it's going to be a very quick flight, like an hour and 10 minutes, something like that. We'll be in Panama City for a couple hours, which is kind of cool. We've used the airport in the past, so it's very easy for us to use. We're familiar with it. It's been a long time since we've been there, but we will be sad that we're not able to go out and explore Panama City for half a day or anything. We do miss having lived there. It would be cool to go back and see stuff, but we just don't have the opportunity 
opportunity to do it on this particular trip. But it is common, because we are flying Copa, it is common to be able to get long layovers in Panama City. So if it's something you want to do sometime and you have more time in which to do it, it is something that works. And when you're talking about a flight, now the flights here are a little bit more expensive, only $260. Uh, when you're talking about a flight that's that cheap all the way to Southern South America, taking a little bit of extra time to hang out in Panama City probably will work out for you. And you can get several days when you do that. So it's, it's a pretty cool uh, feature of flying on Copa. Then in the middle of the day, we'll be leaving Panama City again on Copa and flying all the way to Buenos Aires. That is going to take pretty much the entire day. It'll be about 10 o'clock at night, Buenos Aires time, which is about 8 o'clock in the evening here in Leon. We'll be getting into the uh, main airport there, uh, and then we'll be hopefully meeting up with Valentina and her fiancé, uh, heading to uh, an Airbnb or a hotel. We don't have that worked out at the time that we're figuring this, and we'll get some sleep. The nice thing is, while it's two days of intense travel, each time it's just traveling during the day, so it is taking a bunch of time, hence why I've got to have the videos way ahead of time done. There's no way I'm going to be able to do any like really serious editing or anything while we're doing the trip, so I'm going to be behind, but I'm going to be getting a lot of good footage. I'm taking the cameras. Everyone knows I'm recording. It's going to be cool. Once uh, we get there, hopefully I'll get to get some stuff uploaded, and definitely I'll be uploading shorts as I can throughout the time that we're down there, but it's all very difficult, and it's all going to depend on what cameras I'm able to get and what, what just everything, right? This is what internet I, I have access to. You never know when you're doing these trips. So, but I am going to be doing a lot of filming of Argentina for you guys. I'm very excited. This is both my wife and my first times in Argentina or Buenos Aires. And if all goes really well, we might just make it to Uruguay. I've always wanted to go. Montevideo has been a destination dream of mine since I was like 16, 17 and took Latin American studies in high school. So yeah, if we're lucky, I'm going to make it over there. But it is a four hour ferry ride and my wife does not handle ferries very well and that's a lot of ferry time so we're gonna see but i'm told it's a thing you got to do and it is pretty cool going between buenos aires and montevideo on a ferry that's not something you get to do between capitals very often so it's kind of a unique experience this is really exciting for dominica and i because uh in 2015 we were actually scheduled to move to argentina early in 2016 that was on our plans we had everything worked out we had our transport basically in place but things just didn't work out and our plans had to change. So we ended up moving to Greece instead and that was a truly amazing experience. I would not have given it up for anything. So I'm glad, I guess, that things worked out that way. But we were really looking forward to living in Argentina for a while. And 2016 would have been really cool, although it is more cost effective now we hear. So we're going to be checking that out. It should be a really cool experience. This is going to be great. We're going for two weeks. We are there for Valentina's wedding. So I'm very excited uh, to be able to attend that and then other than that, we have a lot of free time. Uh, Dominic and I have not had a chance to take a trip together for quite some time. It's just not worked out. I've had to do several solo trips. She was in Southeast Asia for a little bit, and we've just not been able to put it together. So this is really nice that I, I was going to go, and then she's like, I think I can make it, and we just ended up being able to make it happen, and uh, it's going to be really cool. So I'm going to be doing a lot of exploring the city and just trying to figure things out. So if you guys have things you want me to see or think that I should do, definitely send in your comments down below, and I'll do my best. I can't promise anything. I have no idea what I'm going to see, how much I'm going to be able to talk to you guys, and how much time I'm going to have. But in theory, we're going to have a little bit, so hopefully I'll get to explore the city a bit. Overall, though, we're very excited having discovered that we can basically get to everywhere in South America, anywhere with a large airport, for under about $300 coming out of Costa Rica. So that's just a lot of flexibility that we haven't had a chance to take advantage of. I was watching some of my old vlogs from like 2019, 2020, talking about our move down here and how excited we were to get to live in this area and have access to so much of Latin America for our own travels and such. And one of the things we talked about is how just cheap and easy it is to get everywhere. We haven't had a chance to take advantage of that yet. Very little. I mean, we've definitely done Guatemala. We've been to Costa Rica, but we have not done the big exploration of the region in the way that we had hoped that we would. And so this is the first that we're really getting a chance to, to leverage that and getting amazing pricing and going to a place that's so far away that coming from the United States, it would just be so expensive. And coming from here, somehow just that little bit makes all the difference. It's probably that you need a different size plane, different types of flight patterns and that stuff just because it's that much shorter, but it really shows that we're able to do some really interesting uh, trips from here and really being able to go to South America, Central America, the Caribbean, all within reasonable flying distance 
opens up a really interesting and enormous world of potential travel without having to leave the region. So that's stuff that we're definitely excited about. So I'm really excited to have you guys coming along on this adventure and uh, hopefully everything goes well. You know, it's scary posting this ahead of time. It's like knock on wood, you know, we're really going to be arriving in Argentina about the time that you see this video. It should be posting while I'm on the plane, but in theory, I'll be arriving pretty soon on Copa and starting to film in Argentina. So uh, tomorrow, the 29th, will be the first day that I'm actively going around with the camera and starting to get content. So all of this travel does mean we're not gonna be doing live streams for the next two weeks. I'm sorry, there's no way that I can do that while traveling. I won't have the setup or the time and it just would be frustrating and very, very difficult. And it wouldn't last, right? We'd, we'd hook up the, the phone and it would just barely work, right? So with that will be coming back hopefully after two weeks. I hate having to take time off from that because it really is fantastic uh, doing the show with everyone. I love getting to do that, but it just realistically cannot be done no way around it, but just think of all the amazing stuff you're looking that you can look forward to uh, that we'll have to talk about when we're back because it's going to be interesting. It's going to be super interesting, and I hope to get a ton of content. It's going to take me forever to edit the stuff that we uh, get from this trip. If you look at the material that came out from our Mexico trip that we did around March, it is uh, it is it took forever. Um, it, like some of it still isn't out at the time that I'm recording this, partially because I uh, was just so busy. So my goal is to uh, start editing and spread this out over a long period of time. Plus, we also need to uh, start getting YouTube used to some travel material on this uh, on this show because when I'm not in Nicaragua, uh, the show actually takes a big dip in traffic because people who are looking for the travel content can't find it because YouTube is sure that we're a Nicaragua show, which we are in some ways, and so that gets a lot of attention, uh, but it needs time to build up and figure out where the audience is for other material because we are trying to cover a lot more things like travel or relocation to other zones. It's been difficult to record today. I've had so much noise here for the last two days. I guess they've been power washing like our driveway and stuff. So it's cool. They're doing work and like it's for us, I guess. But it's been a little bit crazy. And we have this baby bird. That's why I keep looking over. There's a baby bird that is making his way around the yard. And he's been out here for days. I think we're on day three. So I think he keeps like going back to the nest or something and then and then trying to venture out again and then going back. And right now he's on our patio running around. My dogs have gotten used to him so that he don't even pay any attention to him. So that's good. He's able to just make his way around. I just hope that he's okay. He's making me a little bit nervous. He makes a little bit of sound. But he gets a, he's pretty ambulatory, but he's clearly not quite able to fly yet. So I'm not sure what's happening. Maybe there's a ground nest somewhere. I really don't know. Uh, he doesn't actually seem to be distressed, but I don't know what to do for a baby bird that's in the yard. I put out some water for him. I assume that, you know, that is handy, but I have no idea what to do beyond that. So, and don't try to tell me because it'll be weeks before this actually posts. It'll be far too late. The last several weeks, actually the last month, have been just crazy busy for me because I've been working on doing double duty on the episodes to try to have enough episodes posted for all of the time that I'm going to be gone. Now, I don't know for sure that I was able to do that, but getting this episode done is one of uh, the steps in that process. And uh, if everything goes to plan, we'll have roughly all the days that I'm gone, and several of them are already up. So I know we're already making some progress on it, but I have to do two or three episodes per day to be able to keep up in this way. So when you're watching these shows, thinking about how much effort does it take to make these shows, remember I'm making two or three every single day, and I'm making this one on a day when I'm about to do the live stream. So I'm actually prepping for that uh, as well. It'll be about two hours from the time I'm recording this. I should be live uh, with you guys about, uh, all, like about 12 days, 11 days, uh, before you see this. Uh, so it'll be not the very last live stream, but the one before that uh, is the one that I'm preparing for. Uh, so a lot of unknowns, a lot of things could change by the time this episode goes up. But um, yeah, that's, that's about it. I don't have a lot uh, to share with you other than this really cool trip that we're doing. I am so stoked though, like this is, it's been way too long since I've been able to do this and Argentina has been on my list for so long. We're gonna have such a good time. I need to get away and I need I need new, new stuff to record. It's gonna be tons of walking. It's all gonna be good. I will see all of you in the virtual sense tomorrow. <laughs>